Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing good and healthy. So, in last two videos, we discussed about certain fundamentals of JavaScript, right? And not the JavaScript, basically JavaScript engine. So today, I'm going to show you very interesting feature of JavaScript engine, right? So this is a kind of a most misunderstood feature. A lot of developers who come to interviews and who discuss this topic, they know these features exist in JavaScript and also they know what this feature means, but they really misunderstood this feature. So this is something you must understand properly. So let's get started. So this feature by name it's called hoisting, right? So let's see what does it mean, okay? So if we have a program like this, console.log a, right? And then we have a var a equal 10. Okay, so you know now, if you watch my previous two videos, you know, before this script execute, during the creation phase, it create the variable a and it assign the value undefined, right? So if you want to see this, so you can see here, you have variable a and it says undefined, right? So if you run this script, right, so it will print undefined. Why? Because you already created this variable during the creation phase. But the only thing is, it did not allocate uh, its value, right? So assignment doesn't uh, take a place the real value. Instead of that, it assigned the undefined to the variable. Okay. So now, actually this is called hoisting. But this is not the only hoisting mean. Hoisting work different different ways with the especially let keyword and the especially function and the function expressions, right? So that is what you need to understand. Okay. So now, now we know this. Okay. So but this is the misunderstand. Developers think uh, when the hoisting it will print a equal ten, right? It doesn't. It print undefined. So let's understand what the hoisting mean. The hoisting mean during the creation phase, right, of the JavaScript, during the creation phase, remember creation phase and the execution phase, during the creation phase, it move all the globally declared variables to its top, right? But it only move variable declaration, not the assignment. For example, so if you take this JavaScript, right? So during creation phase, what it will do is, right? So uh, keep in mind, so this is, this is the output, right? So the, this script will convert to this, right? Wa a and console.log because this is the line number one, a and then a equal 10, right? So this particular script, during the creation phase will convert to this right so this here since this is we didn't assign any value the value is undefined but the 99 percent developers when they explain this concept they said it will print 10 because they remember the variable will move during the creation phase to the top right but what they've forgotten is we, the entire variable assignment and the declaration doesn't move only declaration goes there but assignment stay remain because though you write this line like a equal 10 the actually how this line uh, executed by the javascript engine like this var a and a equal 10 so this part only move okay fine so now here is the problem okay here is the problem so now, if you do like this, it's working, right? But if you change this to let, okay? Because a lot of developers says hoisting only work with the var. Hoisting doesn't work with the let, okay? So before, right, okay, before we go there, just print other line called console dot log b okay console.log b right so still i'm going to change this back to r right be because you need to understand this before you understand the let all right so now what we just did is we added other variable but take note 
very uh, b we did not declare any value now script okay fine so now refresh it so now a will print as undefined right but see what going to happen because you can see a is undefined but there is no b here because we didn't define the b right so when you run this script it give you an error right so now it says uncode reference error b is not defined okay so remember if the variable is not defined the error is variable name and is not defined okay keep that in your memory because that you need to understand the let okay so now let's see what the let does okay so i change this to let okay i change this to let okay why uh, if you give the why you know it's working i change this to let right why because a lot of developers says hoisting only work with the var no hoisting work with the let as well okay let me to show you so now if i execute this you can see still i have a, a right but a created a new scope called script scope right so last time when it in the function we had something called function scope but now it has something called script scope right in the global you don't see the a but within the script you have the a right you have the a so now what happened if i try to print this it gave me error right but see the error i cannot access a before initialization that means right understand this that means hoisting worked because your javascript engine knows there is a variable called a because during the creation phase this a also moved to the top but it did not do any assignment okay that's why it says there is no assignment need to execute right so you cannot use this variable before assign right in case if you write that uh, hoisting only work with the var variable then this error should be a is not defined as like uh, previous error b is not defined that should be right so it did so now you know how hoisting work with the let and also the var right so now let's see this one okay so i'm going to change this back to var right so var a equal 10 so i'm going to create a function add num1 num2 and our usual function return num1 num1 plus num2 okay so this is our usual function now i'm going to add another function call like this okay var right var add 2 equal function this is not a function but this is a function reference right so this is a function reference okay so this will return a a plus b plus c okay so understand this here you have a var variable here you have a function and here you have a functional reference right so now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do something like this, right? I can like var ans equal add 10, 15, right? And also I'm going to say var ans2 equal add 2 and 10, 20, 30, okay? Here I want to uh, take a note, we invoke these both functions before the function declaration happens, right? Okay, see what happened, okay, see what happened. So if you refresh this, right, I'm going to turn off the scope, right? So I go 1, a equal 10, no problem, right? So now, ans equal add. If you go to the global scope, you will see add function is here with the function code. Remember, we explained 
in the previous video during the creation phase it create a uh, it's a key value pair right execution context is a key value pair we understand we learned this the, the previous video right one of the previous video so it's a key value pair key is a function name and the value is the function code but pay your attention with the function reference you don't see the body it's undefined right so now when you go here it will go to the function and it will execute there's no error but the moment you're trying to call add two see what happened oh error why it says add two is not a function right so that means hoisting work only for the function but not for the function references why because if you refresh this you clearly see you have an add with the function body but add to without a function body so what i'm going to do is now what i'm going to do is now i'm going to call this add to after it declaration right nothing i change i just change the order i'm invoking now just after it declaration right so now you will see still add to is undefined right so I go here, go here, go here, and go, go. Oh, now add to has a value with the function, right? So now if I execute the add to, it won't give any problem, right? It won't give any problem. See, it won't give any problem. Why? Because add to work after it is defined. So if someone asks, does a hoisting work for the function? Yes, but only for the function but not for the function reference right how does it with the arrow function okay so let's do that too okay so let's do that too so now what i'm going to do here var at three equal right so let's say uh, a and b and a plus b okay so this is my add three function right so I'm going to create other variable var ans3 uh, equal uh, 12 plus 13, 12 and 13 I'm going to plus, right? So let's see what happened when this, right? So I'm going to move this arrow function after the um, declaration, after the call, right? That means we are going to invoke arrow function before we call it, right? Okay, so now let's see uh, how this works right so i'm going to execute this and you can see here um at three right at three is undefined now right okay i i made a small mistake here and at three okay i have to call that right so now we will see now it's fine so now I'm just going to execute up to this line, right? So now you will see add three, add three is not defined. Add three is not a function, right? So now because it's undefined. So now what I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to move this after the function, right? So now if I refresh this, so you will see it's working without any problem, right? It's working without any problem. Why? Because now uh, function declaration is there, right? So, now you understand hoisting, right? What are the limitations of the hoisting? Hoisting work for anything, but it only act, it only support us when it is a var and when it is a function, right? If it is not a var, if it is a let, it's still hoisting work. JavaScript engine knows your variable, but you, uh, you cannot use that, right? So, this has a special keyword for this a certain period so we can discuss that in the next video right for now i hope hoisting work but procedures we, we are going to uh, discuss in the next video how uh, hoisting take the precedence over function or the variable okay so till that stay safe and make sure you subscribe to the channel and also like to my facebook and instagram as well stay safe take care